Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you. I worship you because you are worthy of all the worship and all the glory. I humble myself before you as I share this word that it may be a blessing to your people, O God, for the glory and honor of thy name. I pray that my mind, Lord, may be subjected to your reading, Lord, and that your Holy Spirit may water this word that it may fall on good ground of the hearts of your people, that it may bear forth the fruit. I pray, God, that I may decrease as you increase, O God, and that at the end of it all, you may receive all the glory. I pray against the spirit of destruction that the, my words may come out forth with the clarity now, my Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to One One TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, and this is a production of One One Digital Media. The title of my message will be Like Joseph, Expect Hatred but Press On. We have a saying in my mother tongue that um, that is to say that the, the eyes of the crocodiles or the toads cannot prevent the cows to drink the water. That saying came, uh, I guess, because a long time ago the cows were being taken to the river to drink water. Even now in some tribes in back home they do that. And of course in the river they are there could be crocodiles or toads, you know, all those kind of things. But even though they are there, they could be just coming up and looking at the cows. The cow continued to drink the water. And in this, uh, in, in this topic, I felt like as I was reading through the story of Joseph, by the way, I, I woke up and I felt like, hmm, how many people have killed or have buried their tongues just because they are living in a surrounding that is full of hatred and discouragement? Mm. And there it wow. came that I remembered the story of Joseph. I do not know what you could be going through. I don't know for how long you have buried your talent. I don't know how much you have feared because you don't have the support within your surrounding. I want to tell you the word of God is so encouraging because for every situation you go through or I go through, somebody else has gone through it. My first of reference will be from the book of Genesis that is, 37. I'm going to read uh, two sections. I'm going to read first 3 to, to, to 6 and then uh, 10 to 11. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all of his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even the more. Not there. So he said to them, please hear this dream which I have dreamt. I'm going to jump and go to 10 to 11. 10 to 11. So he told it to his father and his brothers and his father rebuked him, not there, and said to him, what is this dream that you have dreamt? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the earth before you and his brothers and feed him? But his father kept the matter in mind. The challenge you have for this story is that you need to know the story of Joseph or you need to read the entire chapter even as I've read different sections in between. I have left some um, pieces of information. So you see that David, uh, uh, sorry, Joseph was a son of Jacob of old age. He was the rust boy. Rastabots, most of the time, they are loved, you know, of course the father loved him, but when the father loved him and made him a tunic of many colors, the brothers envied him. The brothers were jealous. The brothers hated him. The wrath that God has for you will make some people rough you, but that should not prevent you to continue enjoying the love of our Heavenly Father in Jesus' name. And the funny thing is this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, his, the father loved him. And 
then the brothers hated him. They could not even speak peaceably. I can only imagine they were trying to look at one another and then they would talk sarcastically just to annoy him. But this guy was all focused. I want you to catch something here. Now Joseph passed by. Now Joseph had a dream. He could not keep that dream to himself. My brother, my sister, when you dream, do not keep that dream to yourself after you have prayed and you have felt it is from the Lord. Because when, even though he knew that they, they hated him, he dreamt and he told it to, the, to his brothers. And you know what? Oh my goodness. The hatred that they had for him increased because he told it to them. Because at the last part of verse 5 is saying, and they hated him even more. You know, the more they hated him, this, God, thank goodness for this characteristic of Joseph. Verse 6 says, he said to them, please, he pleaded to them. He had this dream, which I have dreamt. He tried to pray. There is a time that you have to continue praying and tell them, I have seen a vision. I have a burden to serve. I have a burden to give. I have a burden to wake up early in the morning and seek the face of the Lord. And people, or maybe the people you live with, like Joseph was living with his brothers, or they might have said, you are interrupting our sleep. My brother, my sister, no matter how much hatred and discouragement you get, be persistent. Don't let that prevent you. First 10 to 11 you see, he came here, he told it to his father, together with the brothers who are having like a family gathering just like many of you and I, like myself also we had a gathering during Thanksgiving. He told it to his brother and his father and his father rebuked him and said to him mm, God, what is this dream that you have dreamt. Shall I, shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to us before you? When you tell the burden that God has laid in you, when you speak what God has spoken to you, to your families, to your dear ones, because actually this one is narrowing us to the family circle. Most of them will not understand you. Most of them will think you are wasting time. Most of them will think you are wasting money. But my brother, my sister, like Joseph, continue pressing on. The father of all the people rebuked him. The one who loved him more than all the other sons, he rebuked him. He who loves you will come as a pine to rebuke you. But that should not prevent you to press on to what God has called you to do. And he wondered, what is this boy saying? You think we are going to come down, bow down before you, me, your mother, and your brothers? Guess what? At the end of it all, it happened. But because of time, maybe I'm going to cover that one another time. But my encouragement to you, like Joseph, when you face the hatred, please bless on. Because that which has been put in you, oh, it's going far. And it's going far for the benefits of those who hate you. Because at the end of the story of Joseph, we see that there was famine in the land. And later on, when the brothers went, like any other people running where there was food, Joseph recognized them. He had to get people away and he disclosed himself to them. And he cried because of the love he had for them. That which God has put for you will bring deliverance to your family, will bring deliverance to your, to, to your siblings, will bring deliverance to your spiritual brothers and sisters. Even though right now is being rejected and disputed and you are being discarded, keep on holding your calling and destiny that will be a blessing to them and the Lord will bless you. The key thing here is bless on, no matter the discouragement, no matter the, the, you know, the isolation, no matter what you are going through, bless on on. You are calling something that will feed somebody who will be hungry at the final end of it. By this I don't even mean physical hunger. It could be spiritual hunger. It could be fever when God puts you high up because our God specializes in putting us high, elevating us high. He is a God who elevates his people at his own time. And at that particular time you will be a blessing to those people who used to discourage you. So my brother, my sister, keep on holding to what God has given 
have given you. Do not be discouraged. Do not fear. And the Lord will bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this message, which is speaking to me now, and I believe it's speaking to my viewers and my listeners. I pray that somebody will be encouraged, my Father. They that have felt so discouraged not to continue, they shall press on, knowing that you have called them and you are faithful. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now you are there. It is all start with a personal relationship. Joseph knew who he was in the Lord. Personal identity is very important. Maybe you have not identified yourself. That's why you are swayed here and, fro, and to and fro. You are not steady because you hear a discouragement from your brother, from your mother, from your father, from your husband, from your wife, and you get discouraged. Oh, you need that personal identification in the Lord. If you are there, you have never accepted the Lord. This is your chance for you. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I want to have a personal identity in you. Save my life. Forgive me my sins. Even the sin of inferiority complex, Lord, that I put myself down because of discouragements within my surrounding. Write my name in the book of prayer and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, my brother, my sister, you've been transformed. Walk in that personal identity knowing that the Lord is with you. Look for a church nearby where you live to, for a home church. When you go to that home church, please behave like it is your home. Be a participant, not just a spectator. Open your eyes and you'll see the many, way, the many doors that God will open for you to serve him. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God from all over by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also tune uh, search one word. Oh, Miracle Radio third way you can download the app One Word Digital Media it is free of charge just go to your prayer store and the Lord will bless you when you are blessed be a blessing to other people by sharing mm. this is your home for spiritual guidance your voice of hope if you have not subscribed to our channel of celebrate your moment with joy this is the time please do that and when you do that the Lord will bless you if you have done it Continue praying for this ministry and the Lord will bless you. I have an announcement for you. December 8th, it's Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. He's hosting a meeting called Total Transformation based on the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9. You can read it about the story of Saul who was transformed and he became the greatest apostle. I love you and God loves you the most.